Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The insane footies content keeps rolling, and that also means that the market just keeps dropping. We have all these insane cards and packs. They're, of course, dropping, but prices across the game are just going down because the content is too good at this stage of the game. Actually, not, it's not too good. It's just great, and it's great summer content. The SBCs are fantastic. We had an icon player pick yesterday that is Brazil-specific. Never thought we would have seen that, but we did. We had another great player SBC yesterday, and we continue to have the great player pick upgrade pack content with not one, but two really great upgrade packs right now with the 82 plus player pick and the 75 times five. And even the common gold triple upgrade is a really good SBC to be crafting with from the club if you have those players uh, lower tier in your in your club to turn in for it. So. We have to talk about how these SBCs are affecting the market and, of course, talk about today on Sunday. Just like last week, we had our second place premium footies winner from the vote. I think today we're going to get that Pato card and probably a re-release of the 93+. plus. But I want to continue to talk about what is going on in this game. With the mental footy content, we cannot complain with how good this stuff is. So if you're excited for the video today, hit the thumbs up and, of course, subscribe if you are new, let's take a look at the price drops because seriously, some of these price drops are, they're insane. That's, there's no other way to say it. I keep looking at this Jude Bellingham card. This guy, just remember, this dude, just a mere two months ago, was 3.3 million coins when he was just released in packs during team of the season as a club 90 card. Think about owning a card that was once 3.6 with 3.3 million coins that is now 190K. That's crazy. And he has in fact dropped off 800, not, he was 850,000 coins on Thursday and Friday before he was re-released back into packs. And now my guy Jude, Jude Bellingham is under 200K. It's literally a 600K drop off. Unbelievable, crazy price drop on this Jude. But it's a combination of two things, right? He's back in packs, and for some reason, his pack weight is incredibly high. But it's also affecting the rest of the market as well. A guy like Benzema, he's not getting packed that much. But look what happened to his price yesterday. Going from 950k all the way down to 800, a little bit of a bounce back. He's back down under 800,000 coins again. Why is this? Well, you see all these price drops are right around the content drop yesterday. It's because the content is insane. People are selling cards to go and do these SBCs. A Brazilian prime or moments player pick. Now, I know that it's not moments only, but I think if they did that, it'd be too OP. But the fact that it's a Brazil specific player pick for icons and icon moments. I mean, I've seen multiple people pack R9s. I've seen people packing Pele's. Just the opportunity to get one of those top tier Brazilian moments icons. Of course, at this stage of the game, you want only a moments, but still a prime Pele or a prime R9, prime Ronaldinho, you wouldn't be too sad packing one of those either, right? People just love the gamble. And when it's th like the guarantee is there to be a Brazilian icon, people are going to want to go do this SBC, even though it's 500,000 coins pe repeatable twice, 83% upvote just because it's a crazy SBC that we've literally never seen a, a nation specific before. We talked about it in yesterday's video. I was wondering if they could do something like this and they've gone and done it. GG's EA Sports. So the combination of that also being this SBC being so craftable with the 75 times five upgrade that is really, really good for fodder. The 82 plus is really good for packing special cards. Higher rateds that are in packs right now is in batch two. That's good for fodder. Even the common gold upgrade is good to rinse to rinse your club of some of those low tier cards to get golds to then turn into the upgrade packs. That's great for fodder as well. And then, of course, we had a player SBC yesterday, which we'll talk about in a second. But the real grind right now is all the upgrade packs and the Brazil Prime Romans player pick. And I guess the 75 times 5 and the 82 plus are the ones that I want to direct your attention to first and, and talk about even some more because this is the SBC right here where EA is saying, okay, you don't have a lot of coins or you don't have a lot. Of, basically, you don't have a lot of fodder in your club and you need fodder. Well, here you go. Turn in all of your silver players and two gold rares with 30 chemistry. And basically what EA is doing here is saying, hey, rinse out your unwanted silver cards in your club and get five 75 plus players. Now, I haven't opened any of these yet, but I'm assuming they're halfway decent. They were great during the team of the season even. Like, 
these are going to be really, really good for fodder. The 82 plus player pick we know is good. There's just like, if you want to grind the menus right now, if you want to do like bronze pack method to the bronze upgrade, silver upgrade, like all that stuff, like there's that opportunity. Or if you just want to go out and spend those coins in the end game, buy, you know, the cards to do the 75 times five, rinse your club out and then, you know, buy some gold to do 82 pluses. There's just so much insane content right now to go and grind it is fantastic and everybody is loving it and that's why these prices are down i mean even take a look at some of these cards that i was buying and trading with on friday like Vinny jr was 1.9 mil on friday he hasn't even had one of the biggest drop-offs yet and he has so much hype still because of the brazilian cup that everybody is sweating and grinding right now this guy's 1.6 million coins right 1.66 he is down we could look for days on footbin and look at these price drops and just talk about all the players that are down in value right now, which I know it does sting a little bit. You're like, Nate, it sucks to lose coins if you're using tradable players, especially if you bought any Brazilians for the cup or anything like that. I understand that it does sting to lose coins a little bit, but I think it stings a little bit less at this stage of the game, right? Edward Militao was 400,000 coins on uh, yesterday. I, I told you on Friday night, I was selling him at 400,000 coins. Yesterday, he went from 350 back up to 389 now he's back down to 340 again where's marquinhos right my center backs that are always fluctuating because they have those brazilian links for the brazilian cup he went yesterday from 260 to 280 back down to 240 he kind of just bounces between 240 and like 260 270 so like some of these guys could continue to fluctuate if you're trying to trade these would be the cards that i would look at 100 percent but in general, a lot of these prices have just continued to drop. Lucas Paqueta, 130K. Can we take a minute and look at Usman Dembele's card? 694,000 coins for a card that was still a million coins on Friday, even before he was re-released, right? Even after, right? He was still 980K. He didn't really die off in price until yesterday. And look at this panic. He was down to 614. No way. That's crazy. So you have a combination of panic selling because, again, the content is just too good. And you also have the fact that, uh, you know, he's getting packed and he's getting supplied. Both of those things together are making prices drop just about everywhere. Even out of packs cards. This James Madison, 300K. Yeah, where was he before this weekend? Oh, yeah, Friday he was 450. What happened yesterday? He went from 400,000 coins down to 300K. And this is where he is now, right? It's crazy with all of the content. Prices just keep dropping. And on the flip side of that, fodder continues to go up. But not all fodder is going up, right? It's a lot of the middle to lower tier, like the 83s and the 84s. I remember saying in yesterday's video, yo, if you see 84s get below 5,000 coins again, buy those cards. And last night late, they did. They went to 4.5K for some of these guys. And they spiked to 7K earlier yesterday after... The big boy SBCs were released, that Brazilian Prime Aromas player pick. And you know what? They're probably going to keep going up throughout this week because just like last week, EA is not running lightning rounds on any day except for Friday. And on Friday nights, they've been running a few of the late night lightning rounds. Like we had the 85 plus star yesterday. I don't know how many that we had after that, but I know that they ran the late night ones on Friday night. And that's applied fodder just enough to make it go down, but they're not running any more throughout the weekend. Unless that changes this week, I'm not expecting it to based off of last week. So your fodder from here should probably just continue to go up. Now, the only fodder that I think is really going to have the biggest movements is going to be the 83s and the 84s. You're like, Nate, can 84s really go up more? Honestly, I think they can still go up to like seven to 8,000 coins, even though that seems wild. But the thing that we have now, is, and what I talked about in yesterday's video as well, is absolutely coming true again, is you have this like bottleneck, right? You have all of these cards that are between 9,000 coins and like 18, 19K. A 10,000 coin swing in fodder can take you from a 9,000 coin 85 card all the way up to a 89 rated card being 18, 19K. It's crazy how cheap some of the high rated fodder is, like the 88s, 89s, 90s, 91s. Even like the 86s into that 92 range, it's just crazy how cheap they are, but how inflated the lower tier market is because everybody is packing all of these special cards that are out in packs. And again, we've said it time and time again, but it just makes sense. And it just shown more and more with the great content yesterday. People are packing this Renan Lodi, this Griezmann wants to watch, this, you know, DACA 88, Mateus Cunha's Future Stars card. They're, they're packing the higher rateds, right? 
They go out and fill an 86 rated squad with a couple of those higher rateds. Then they go out and buy 83s, maybe an 84, a couple 85s to finish out the squad. That's why you got 84s at 6K. That's why you have 83s at 3,000 coins a piece. It's crazy. That's because how that's how the SBC solutions are set up, and that's how people's clubs are at the moment. That's why I was really adamant yesterday. Like, if you see the 84s get to that low under 5K range, buy them because they are absolutely going to go up. So that was kind of the situation with fodder and like i said it's probably just going to continue to rise up a bit more the only thing that's going to hurt fodder this week and we saw it a little bit last week is if ea drop any of those tradable voting day packs um or any sort of like tradable daily sbc we had the, the voting day pack last week on like wednesday right that was tradable that did supply the market a little bit so i would keep an eye out for some something like that or they did a team of the year warm-up challenge yesterday that was one of the sbcs it gave you a tradable gold players pack but you know it's really not going to make that big of a movement on the market and supply that much unless it's a really good pack or at least a halfway decent pack so you know you just fodder is just going to keep going up throughout this week even though the low tiers the focus i even think some of the 85s 86s 87s can continue to inch up and price as we continue to go out through this week because the content's just too good man brazil campaign player picks people want to do these the brazil uh icon moments people want to do those we're gonna have more content today that people are gonna want to do that's what i want to talk about next i want to talk about what sbcs we're getting today on sunday and just like last sunday when we had the secondary winner of the footies vote that we had earlier in the week we think that today we are going to see the Pato SBC. Rafinha was on Friday. He was the number one winner. I would imagine that just like Havertz was last week as the number two winner, Pato would be released today. Now, how would this impact the game? Well, Brazilian striker, five-star skills. We know that Pato is going to have five-star skills today. So what I would say is keep an eye on your Brazilian type strikers. I know there's not a ton of them that are out there. You think of like Gabriel Jesus, but think about the striker that you're maybe using in your Brazil cup team at the moment maybe it's a talishka who's dirt cheap regardless uh at this stage of the game and i mean i don't even know who, who you guys are all using maybe maybe it's a version of r9 well r9 drop for pato i wouldn't expect that but just you know this gabriel jesus for sure i still think maintains some value for people because um he is being used in this uh this cup mode a decent amount but this pato today it's going to be perfect for so many people to want to go out and to do and there was a lot of people investing in a certain somebody because of this Pato, because Pato is in the MLS, you know, he is a little bit harder to link and that's an issue. He is Brazilian, but a little bit harder to link for like main squads. Of course, people that are playing the Brazilian cup don't care because they're using all of Brazilians. But uh, this Unberg card was like up 20 to 30,000 coins, I believe on Friday, because people thought Pato was going to be dropped then. Well, Pato did not drop and instead it was the main man. Rafinha, this Judenberg was actually just like 55k when I was checking his price before the video. Now he has 62,000 coins. I think he's going to go up even more again today because this is the day Pato is probably going to drop. So 63k for this card. I think it can go back up to 70k. Um, I know that a lot of people are going to use the Brazilian links for Pato. As long as EA release, ooh, 52, I will stay, I will snack that because Flippin must have an undercut right now. But, you know, I, I packed him already. I've got him in the club untradeable. But I'm watching his price because this is like the perfect card. Wow, look at these bids at 43K. That's crazy. I was just watching his card like literally five minutes before hopping on to record this video. Uh, this is one of the cards. What in the world? 52? Did I bid on one? That's crazy. Anyways, that's like probably the favorite card that people are going to use to link him today. Uh, some of your other MLS cards. I forget. Is Foot Captains, Foot Hero Captains Clint Dempsey, is he MLS? I think he is. Yes, he definitely is. The only one that's not MLS is the Shapeshifter Dempsey. So, you know, this card would be another one today that I would keep an eye on. I don't know what his price is regarding if it's up or not, but these MLS links, specifically the heroes, Dempsey is, is usable enough at this stage. That Unberg is usable enough at this stage. Those are going to be some of your most meta MLS links. If people need a green link to get Pato into their team, that's going to be the way they're going to go ahead and do it. So watch out for cards like this. I'll just add one to the watch list and see where he goes today. Uh, because I think people have invested in those. So I'd be careful. Uh, but I also think people could invest further in those. And I think if Pato does have really, really good, you know, stats today and a really good price, those cards can continue to go up. And, you know, with Pato, the hype is already there. He's played for a lot of big clubs. People know he's a FIFA legend. 
So the potential for Pato to have, you know, a lot of hype today is increased because of his stature in football and his, you know, just his talent and his skills and his legacy, right? I, I would, I could argue that Pato could very easily be a foot hero card based off of what they've shown. Uh, the criteria is to get a hero card. You know, I think he could be in for one in the future. Absolutely. So that's kind of what I'm expecting for content today. That Pato is going to be the big piece. Now, also, I would expect the regular 93 plus moments SBC to be re-released. This is just I would assume part of the normal cycle that EA is going to do. 93 plus icon moments player pick, probably repeatable twice today. I mean, I would hate to see that, honestly, because at this stage, why would you do this when you could do this one um, that gives you just a guaranteed Brazil player? So, yeah, I would say I would say it's something to that regard that we could you know, get another one of these 93 pluses moments today. And I think the, the requirements would probably stay the same. You might see a slight bounce on some of your fodder that's in that, you know, 87, 88 range, 89s, maybe just a little bit uh, because of some demand for this. But unless they make it cheaper, I mean, people are probably going to default to doing this Brazil player pick before they would do the regular 93 plus one uh, for now. And I mean, even for this, like doing four squads and paying 500K for a 93 plus moments player pick, like... How, how many 93 plus moments player picks? Like if you do one moments player pick, how many of these Brazil campaign player picks can you do? Like you could almost do 10 of these. This is a 60K SBC. You could basically do nine of these Brazil campaign player picks and have nine chances of packing Tots Neymar, Tots um, Vinny Jr., you know, SS Marcelo, those types of players, not that they're popping a ton, but I have people continually tweeting me like, I, guys, I cannot tell you how many tweets I was barely on Twitter yesterday, but I cannot tell you how many Twitter notifications and tags that I had of people showing me insane packs of 75 times fives, 82 plus player picks, you know, maybe some swaps packs that people were still finishing up with the tokens. Like the pack weight right now with all the cards that are in packs is just mental. And people are absolutely loving it. And that's, again, like we started off this video by talking about, that's why the market is dropping. But ju just think about that, right? Like, that's the type of gamble that you have to take here is, do I do nine campaign player picks or do I do one 93 plus moments player pick, right? That's why there's not as much hype with this and there's more hype for a Brazil uh, campaign player pick. So I think that's going to be the content today between the 93 plus and Pato. I don't think it's going to be that crazy of a day. I also would say to EA Sports, hey, yo, when are you going to drop this foundations pack that's been added to the code and the starter pack? Now, as far as I'm concerned, I did not see where it was dropped yesterday and foundations packs are like always in the store. Uh, so unless I completely missed it or maybe they're planning on dropping it today, we need that EA Sports. It would only make sense for you to drop it at this time early enough into the cycle of people playing the footies brazil cup so that we would have enough time to open the pack upgrade our squads and continue grinding in this very very sweaty mode so hopefully that will be part of the sunday content today as well if you remember from last week too right the friday and the saturday were just like bam bam two really great days of content and then throughout the rest of the week it was good but it wasn't as insane in those first two days and i think that's the same situation as this week right we had friday with the great content the great sbcs with the campaign player pick the footies batch two and then yesterday we had the chiesa which i didn't even talk about this card yet we had the chiesa with upgrade packs and the Brazil icon player pick. So there's just so much content to grind throughout this rest week. I'm excited to get on, continue spending a lot of my coins and, and buying golds and non-rares. Like I think rares are, are still even like what? 1.2K, is that correct? 1.4K maybe for gold rares. It's just people are going out and doing these upgrade packs and they're, they're going out in droves like to do them because they're, there's just so much content to craft. 1.3K for rares at the moment. Uh, I can't wait to get on the stream and, and do a bunch of this stuff later on because the content it's it's end game and we're here for it so the other thing that i'm going to talk about as well and really quick is take notice that the footies batch two players are in packs for two weeks so obviously during the second week right now it's really hype it's really fresh if there's any of these cards kind of reverting back to what we were talking about at the beginning of the video in terms of prices and stuff if there's any of these cards that are in batch two um of footies released back in packs i would be very careful buying them and holding on to them for a very long amount of time because again like i mentioned these guys are in packs for not just this whole week but they're going to be in packs for a whole nother week and that to me is uh, a lot of supply coming in on the market now i'm not saying it's all going to be 
you know, huge, insane price drops from still here on out, like Jude Bellingham going to 50K, probably not that, that's not going to happen. But I would just expect that these cards would continue to slowly drop um, because, again, they're continually getting supplied. I mean, dude, like, what is this? I packed this guy on Friday. I think so many people have packed this Jude Bellingham. It's crazy. And it's just so wild because he was so rare during Bundesliga Tots. And now he's like, just in everybody's packs. I don't know if it's a glitch. I don't know what it is. It's wild. So there's that. And, you know, again, if you're trying to trade in this market and you make some coins, just kind of remember some of the players that I was just shouting out. Focus on the Brazil out-of-pack special cards. Like, these guys move on the market. Like, this Marquinhos at 240, like, these, these guys move. And there's not as many people on the game right now at this time uh, to be trading in these fluctuations. So there's absolutely potential for you to go out on the market. Even that James Madison that I looked at at 300K, like that's an English card that people would like to use. And he was in a mini release. So that makes him even more rare. 300K, he has one page at 300K. 293, like that's that's a really low, man. So once these listings maybe expire, he could easily bounce back up to like 330 or 340. And boom, you're collecting 15, 20K card after tax for that. So those are just a couple examples of cards that are, that are down horrendous that I think could continue to move. And obviously be careful with price on this game. I would not be holding anything for super duper long because of how good the content is and because of how many coins are being drained. I'm, I'm losing coins right now. Like I just sold this Marcelo after not checking the game for the past day. Uh, and I bought that guy for 800K and now he's 500,000 coins, right? So like I'm down bad on some cards too, but that that's just how the game is right now because you know, the content is just too good. And I will gladly take losing some coins on trying to make a trade when I, why in the world am I really trading that hard in this state of the game and in this time of the year? Uh, I would I would gladly take a bit of a loss um, because the content's too good. Great trade off in my opinion. I'm gonna watch this Unberg today because he's already going back up from. I think this guy was actually panic sold a lot. Oh wow, he's 70k. He literally just went from 50 to 70 thousand coins. That's kind of crazy. What does Footpin have him at right now? Footpin has him at uh, 49k. Really? Wow. So anybody who's you know I think these cards are somewhat still like packable from weekly rewards or maybe not okay you see some investors here listing at 70k that's crazy um that they're still listing there and they might get lucky with oh 47k for Unberg. don't mind if i do look how dead the market is too man like normal part of the year i would not be getting these snipes on Unberg. and i might even list him up right now at 70k just to get the sale because he is very invested for the pot to sbc today and up 20k in uh, july i think i might take my dough i think i might take the the, the cash chat look at this trading in july on a youtube video wow crazy so yeah watch Unberg today because pato is going to be hype and he's not very easy to link and just be careful buying any cards right now that are especially in packs because they are just mudded but that's going to be the video for today guys if you did enjoy smash the thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it's been nate the foot account and i'll catch you guys later peace out